A sample is only good if it truly represents the entire population. It's my job, and the job of statisticians in general, to ensure that a sample is truly representative. One of the keys in doing this is to replace human selection of individuals with some random process, such as a table of random numbers. Random selection eliminates the possibility of conscious or unconscious bias in the choice of our sample. Why is that important? Here's an example. In 1987, Cher Height published the book Women and Love, which detailed women's attitudes on a wide range of subjects. She based her book on responses to about 100,000 questionnaires sent to women's and church groups around the country. Only 4,500 women, 4.5%, responded. One of her findings was that 70% of women married more than five years were having extramarital affairs. Height's methods have been criticized for several reasons, but the most troublesome from a statistical point of view was her reliance on voluntary response. Only those women who cared enough about Height's subject to fill out her very long questionnaire were included in the study. That's a form of bias, a systematic distortion of outcomes. It's unlikely that such a group of self-selected women is truly representative. 